How's it TOB family? Welcome to yet another episode of our weekly videos. Now, listen, today we're going to be talking about another Sony Gear speaker, and this is the big brother to the 500 HD Audio X Pro, and it is the 600 HD Audio X Pro RGB speakers. Enjoy the video. This is the Sony Gear 600 Audio X Pro RGB speakers with high definition audio. Uh, thank you, Sony Gear, for reaching for sending this out to me. I appreciate you guys. The mandate remains the same. Test this out. Tell us what you think. And that is exactly what we're going to do today. Uh, let me take this time to address something someone wrote to me uh, saying that they don't prefer I go back to talking about the earbuds uh, videos and not the, the speaker videos. Let me address this one time. Okay, um, firstly, I never stopped doing the earbuds videos. I'm still gonna do more. There's some videos I've shot and I'm still gonna upload. All right, now I'm doing these speaker videos because, firstly, they sent this out to me and I gave my word that I was gonna test them and give them my opinion. And that's that's exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm keeping my word. All right, so be patient with me, try to enjoy the videos. You never know, you just might need the information at some point. Okay, so. Let's get back to regular programming, all right? Now, the Sony Gear 600 HD Audio X Pro. Now, we have talked about the 500 HD Audio X Pro on this channel. It doesn't look as big as this, but um, yeah, this is the 600. We like the 500. Hopefully, uh, we hope the 600 will be better, all right? Now, let's just look around the box and see what we can find on it. First of all, there's some features here. The features include like the FM radio, the aux in function, karaoke function, uh, support for your USB and TF card and all that jazz. Uh, there's some specifications on it here and the specifications include like the, t the Twitter quality and size and all that stuff, the impedance and all. I know you guys don't bother about those things, but hey. Uh, something I see here, a uh, playback time is one and a half hours at 50% volume scale. I don't know if I like that. Doesn't seem like uh, uh, that it's got a big battery. But here it's got a DC input, so that's a good thing. Um, a USB 5 volt, so that means you can just keep this charged, keep it running, plugged in while you, you use it. Or if you take it off of the power, of the DC power, you know that you're just, you, you have just one and a half hours at 50%. So, you know, anything more than 50%, you know, it's still going to cut into your time. So that's something else. All right, it says here on the box a wireless microphone included. So I'm guessing because of the karaoke function, they provided a wireless microphone, which is cool. You don't have to make everybody pay for every single thing they need to use on this. That's a good thing. All right, okay, let's 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 unbox this and let's let's see what it looks like inside. All right, let's go. All right, when you open the box, this is what you find. You find the wireless microphone right here. And uh, you get a manual and you get a 3.5 millimeter audio connector or your auxiliary cable. And you get a USB type C charging cable. I'm happy that it's a, it's a USB type C and not a micro USB. USB type C is the standard now. We should all move on from micro USB with all appliances. Yeah, that way our lives are easier. <laughs> all right. Uh, you know what I say, read your manual, read your manual, read your manual. All right, let's put these aside. Let's talk about the microphone, the wireless microphone. Um, it feels very light, very lightweight. I'm guessing because uh, it doesn't have the batteries in it. Let's see. Okay, it needs uh, 
Uh, this is a double A battery if I'm not making a mistake. Yeah, double A battery for this. Two double A batteries to work this. That is cool. On off switch, I'm guessing for pairing with the the speakers with the Sony gear name and logo on it. That is cool. All right, feels good to the hand. That's nice. All right, let's put that aside. And this is the Sony Gear 600 HD Audio X Pro RGB speakers. Okay. Compared to the 500, this is rather large. It is big. Uh, a little bit heavier than I expected. I thought it would be a bit lightweight, but it's not. It's a little bit heavy. I like the design here. There's a handle to pick it up here, right? This is cool. You can just hold it every time you go. This is good. And it's got a slot here which you can put maybe your tablet or your phone or whatever thing you want to use this for. Could also use it for, for your tablet if that's what you're you're getting your karaoke lyrics out of. You can put it here if you want to maybe watching movies, you can slot it here. That is cool. I think it would be nice if they if you had like a little thing you could just attach this to to just you know keep everything together. It's funny how this is floating here and you know you've got a slot here where you can put up your tablet and your phone or whatever but this is just floating around. It would be nice if maybe they had like a little click point here where you could just put this or strap it to something to the side, to the song, to the top, wherever. But yeah, it is what it is. Okay. On the top of it here, we've got the controls, we've got the volume microphone, the microphone volume, and we've got the regular volume here. And the on and off switch is just on the thing when you twist it open, you twist it out to your right, it switch on, and then to the left, you switch off. Okay, now we've got the mute button here, we've got a menu button here, uh, previous track, play and pause, next track, and this is for the RGB lights. Okay, cool. All right, I like the design here. There's like a little, little ridges here on the side. That is cool. In front, we've got the Sony Gear logo right here and a metal mesh. That's cool. Underneath, we've got a stand. There's no silicon stand on it, so uh, traction on this. It's gonna be different, but I guess maybe it's not meant to be on a table or something, so I can understand that. At the back of this, we've got a little display screen here, and we've got a control for the microphone input. Oh, sorry, for the microphone. And yeah, we have a microphone input. So that means it doesn't only just work wireless microphone, you could also use your regular uh, microphone, but this, outlet this input here is a 6.3 millimeter input from what i can see so that's this one so if maybe your microphone uses a 3.5 millimeter you could just get a 6.3 female and then you no male and then you put it in with that okay you've got a slot here for your ft cards your micro sd cards and stuff you've got the uh, the 3.5 millimeter aux cable port here a USB port, a 5 volt uh, DC USB charging port right here, and this says guitar volume. So I'm guessing this is the knob to increase or decrease the volume if you are playing, if you are, if this is attached to a guitar. And yes, yeah, this is the input for the guitar right here. Okay, okay, so that means that this speaker, the function of this is really more of um, entertainment, really, okay, not just entertainment just to hear the sound, entertainment to uh, uh, appliance that you can um, connect with other devices, like your guitar, like your piano or something. So if maybe you're like a street performer, this can come in handy, you know, um, you guys entertaining the crowds when you're walking around on the street on a weekend you see some guys out playing their instruments and they need a little bit of a sound system i think this uh you're the target market for this one this is a budget version of what you can get all right i also think maybe 
kids between the age of say 12 14 that are into instruments and stuff they can use this at home too um, you can also have get this at home if you like karaoke and you want to you know hang out with your kids and uh, you know have fun you can use this I think you are the target market for this you don't have to spend a whole lot of money to just get those Marshall speakers and stuff you can pick this one enjoy the sound have some fun so yeah I like this I like this this is nice all right the build quality I would say is very good I don't think they spent they spared any expense in, in the materials they used here it looks very very good it looks very sturdy I like this I like the design all right uh, let's just uh, play around with this and see how let's switch this on and see okay you turn it to the right and it comes on and there comes that sunny gear classic sound when you switch on the device this is cool Ooh, that's loud Ooh, that's loud okay here we have the rgb lights see how they go let's see if we can let's see the options we have when it comes to that there you go oh now that is off and now it's on next option all right nothing crazy just the regular ones that's cool all right um okay let us um pair the phone the the microphone with the uh, with the speaker and see how it sounds let's do that before we test the sound Let, let's pair this the microphone and let's see how it sounds cool now this is the microphone we have here and uh, let's try to pair it with the the speakers okay uh, i've got some batteries over here uh since i need double a batteries need two of them so here we go there we go you can see me here there we go all right uh, let's pair these already it's on right there see the little blue light there the blue light see it there yeah all right let's see if this is paired volume mic volume hello hello okay hello 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 okay not hearing the feedback when you put the mic against the, the speaker you get a feedback but I, i'm not getting that right now hello 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 seems loud enough um yeah seems loud enough but i think you really have to put it close to your mouth for it to really make an impact yeah hello 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 okay okay um works well enough yeah let's just turn that off and put it aside uh at least we know that works well enough um seems like you really have to put this very close to your mouth for you to really get a really clear sound but i suppose for what you need it for i suppose it works yes yeah <laughs> i suppose it works all right let's um let's connect this now to this laptop and play some music and let's see what exactly the kind of sound production that comes out of this let's do that all right i've paired the laptop to to the speakers and then it's, it's time for us to test to test it out but before we go further i want to say something sonic gear pay attention to this okay when we pair your device pair whatever device to the speakers there is this notice that uh, you know notification that is very very loud one that says bluetooth is paired or connected to whatever it doesn't need to be that loud it is it is way too loud do something about that change the notification to a beep a sound or something but not all that loud speech way too much way too much just saying but maybe just bothers just me maybe somebody else might not find a problem with it but i i do it is just way too loud way too loud all right let's play some music right now and let's see what this sounds like here all right let's do this Say bye. 
Okay, okay. Um very, very bass heavy. But I suppose I suppose that makes sense for what, what I think it's meant for. I like I said earlier on, I think this is meant for like a street performing, uh street performance. You can get this. Um maybe a child between the age of say 12, 14, that's into instruments and all that stuff, and you know, you wanna hear what you're playing out loud this works um karaoke having fun with your kids on the weekends or something this works uh you, you want to play something by the pool while you're chilling out or something you're having fun or maybe you're having a little picnic in front of your house and you just want to chill with this this works now what i find what i find with this is very bass heavy which i think is appropriate for what you need it for it's clear very clear very very breezy it's not it's not noisy even when i increase the volume up and i've not even gone up by 30 percent or so it is really really loud i like this this is good let's continue <laughs> Um, what we'll do now, I want to connect this to this, uh, connect the speakers to the laptop via the auxiliary cable, uh, the 3.5 millimeter cable. Let's see how that works. Let's see how it works. If the sound is even the same, if maybe it's affected by, if maybe the connection affects the sound. Let's just see how that performs, all right? All right, um, I've connected... Um, I've connected the speaker to my laptop here via the auxiliary cable right there. Yes, I'm using this device because the sound card, the sound of my laptop here is acting up. So I'm using this. Um, yeah, so I've connected this here and let's play and see if there's any issues with the sound when you're connected via the auxiliary cable, 3.5 millimeter. Let's go. consistent the sound 
still consistent. I'll tell you one thing. I like the sound. I like the way it sounds. Um, I, I think I think at this stage now, Sonic Gear has proved with several devices that they actually know what they're doing when it comes to sound. Um, I still think that uh, a few things need to still shape up when it comes to design of the particular uh, uh, of device, but still, for me, I like the sound. The sound is very, very good. The bass, this is bass heavy, and like I said, for what, what is designed for, that is very appropriate. Very, very appropriate. It's supposed to be that bass heavy. It's supposed to have that oomph that comes with it, that aggressive pump. So yeah, that is good. I like this. This is really cool. So after testing the Sonic Gear 600 HD Audio X Pro speakers, I can tell you this. It is very clear. It is built well. It is breezy. It is, it is very good for what it's meant for. I think maybe it's meant for um, for studio, for street performance, forgive me for say, using that word. I don't, I don't know if it's the right word, hope nobody's offended. I think it's meant for street performers. I think it's meant for more of an interactive um, entertainment, like you know, karaoke. If you're into instruments and you're trying to, um, you're trying to, you know, learn and, and practice and everything, and you don't just want the sound from any other thing, this is a very good budget option for you. If you cannot afford the Marshall speakers and all that stuff, this is a very good option for you. I bet you that you probably get the very same sound quality you get from Marshall or something. Maybe the functions might be different, but I'm telling you the the the, the sound quality is probably gonna be the same. So yeah, this is a very, very good option for you if you're into that. I, I would say uh, Sunny Gear, you're on the money on this. It's very good. I like it. I like it. Thank you for watching the video up till the end. Don't forget to like and share. If this is your first time here, click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified when we put out a new video. If there's something you'd like to see on this channel, leave it in the comment section or send me an email. Until next time, take care.